Dan from Guardian Mold Prevent. We're going to look at a property in West Chicago, Illinois today. Uh, we're looking at some exterior walls of a bedroom right now. And as you can see, there's mold growth in the corners. Um, and there's some actually growing right on the paint coating right in the center of the wall. This lends itself to an uh, insulation problem in the wall. What's happening is the cold air is penetrating into the drywall surface or the surface of the paneling in one of the walls here, and that's condensating and, and developing mold growth because the drywall is warm. Now, on the ceiling, it's a different case. Uh, the attic is most likely condensating here, and we're getting some mold growth on the ceiling because the moisture is running right down the rafters. Uh, in the bedroom right next to uh, that area, you'll see that the... Uh, trim has has considerable amount of mold growth on it, and there it's consistent around the entire room. But as you look, you'll notice that the walls are a nice bright white color. Uh, this goes hand in hand with a you know a contractor coming in who's not a mold remediation contractor. He's not certified for mold, and he's going to just fix something. So they slap some Kills paint primer over the top of it. And as we pan up the corner of this wall here, we'll see an area um, where they actually just simply got lazy and did not finish painting. And so you can see the original paint color, and you can see the mold growth growing right on uh, the uh, old paint. In the next room, or the third bedroom of the house, it, you'll see that there's also some new paint that's been applied to the ceiling uh, they did a sloppy job. You can see some overspray, some areas where the brushes were touching the uh, crown molding. But again, this is just uh, basically a cover-up job by somebody who's not a qualified mold remediation firm. We're going to go back into this room and take a different look at that ceiling. Uh, same wall, same crown molding, and we're going to uh, pan down the wall here, pull back the crown molding, and expose the mold growth that is actually developed on the ceiling. Now this was there when the contractor obviously came in and painted the ceiling white. Uh, but again, this is what happens when you get a contractor come in who is not certified in mold growth and they're going to quote unquote take care of your mold problem. Now as we move into the hallway and, and start to go up into the attic, you can see that the hatch here has got some mold on it which certainly doesn't uh, tell you that you're going to find anything uh, wonderful in the attic, but as we move into the attic space, you'll see the plywood is blackened, um, and it's, it's seen a lot of water, uh, obviously. Uh, in a moment here, you're going to, as I pan back down the plywood, you'll notice that you can actually see daylight coming in up through the soffit. So it doesn't appear that there's a lower ventilation issue here. It doesn't appear that the insulation is blocking any of the ventilation, but... Um, what we will find is that we, as we come back up towards the ridge board of this roof, uh, they have a ridge vent cut in, which means that the plywood is cut back from the ridge, the shingles are cut back, they put a mesh pad in there, and that pad is supposed to ventilate the attic or, or serve as the upper ventilation. The problem is, is that with those thick mesh ridge vents, they get clogged very easily, they don't draw from the soffits, and you end up with a condensation issue. Now. A totally different area of the house would be the crawl space here. And as we look into the crawl space, we can see that um, obviously there's mold growth on some of the, the floor joists, some of the plywood sheeting. Uh, but the thing that I really wanted to make a note of here in the crawl space is that as I pan across, you'll notice that there is no vapor barrier on the floor. And so what happens is the earth's moisture will end up coming up into the house and quite frankly, it gets all the way up into the attic space. And so even when you have no ventilation problems in an attic space, many times you can find that uh, the moisture coming up for the crawl will create issues throughout the house um, and all the way up to the attic.